When looking at CCD, different sources have different inferences in the cause of CCD. According to the new article by CCD experts solving the, mi the mystery of vanishing bees found in Scientific American, the following reasons are attribute to the bees being affected by CCD. One of them is the IAPV virus, or the Israeli acute paralysis virus, which is a widespread RNA virus of honeybees that have been linked with a colony losses. Other possible causes of CCD are neonicotinoids, fungus, and limited sources of food. The reason why scientists don't think Israeli acute paralysis virus or IAPV is the only causative of CCD is because it started in 2004 but was noticed in 2006 when there was an outbreak. IAPV causes bees to develop shivering wings and eventually they become paralyzed. It has been found in imported bees from Australia. Found by genetic analysis of CCD hives by the Re Bee Research Laboratory in the United States. 51 bee colonies, out of 51 bee colonies, thir 30 of them found that they were devastated by the CCC contained the foreign IAPV virus. And there is no clear connection between the main causative of CCD. Varroa mites damage honeybee health because the varroa destructor or varroa mite is an external parasitic mite that attacks the honeybees Apis serrana and Apis mellifera. The varroa mite can only reproduce in a honey honeybee colony, meaning it attacks many many bees at the same time. It attaches to the body of the bee and weakens the bee by sucking hemolymph. Nosema damages honeybee health because it is a gut parasite that can give bees dysentery. And the spores damage honeybee health because spores are inhaled by the bees and affect their digestive tract. Neonicotoids affect a honeybee's learning and memory by damaging the brain by causing an, Im an immediate hyperactivation. This then pro is preceded by a neural inactivation. This is when the brain goes quiet and cannot communi c communicate anymore. A result of this can, can be a bee um, forget how to, re how to return to the hive. They will, die, they will die with no queen, no protection, no honey, and no colony to work with. The GMOs are engineered in a way in which it creates its own pesticides as well as its self-fertilizers. The pesticide that is used in the GMOs have been tested on adult honeybees and bee larvae, and it showed no sign of harm for these bees. There are three changes in agricultural practices that could improve the environment of honeybees, which are limiting the use of pesticides, having a better safe keeping of bees, and regulating distances of beekeepers from industrial sources. 
Pesticides that are commonly found in lawn and garden products and used in agriculture are known to be hazardous to bees, some killing bees outright and others with subtle effects that reduce a bee's ability to thrive and end up dying. Better safekeeping of bees. Swarm suppression is a universal technique employed by most conventional beekeepers to prevent bees from leaving the hive and taking honey with them. It is not just wrong, but it has played a huge part in the decline of bees, because swarming is a natural way for bee colonies to reproduce. It is their basic strategy for survival and for diversifying their gene pool. Also, regulating distances on industrial sources. Air pollutants from industrial sources interact with and break down plant emitted scent molecules, which insect pollinators, not just bees, but also butterflies and other types of termites, eh, animals, insects, used to locate it, needed food. The pollution modified plant odors can confuse bees, and as a result, bees spend more time looking for plants to pollinate and it leads to pollina pollination efficiency decrease and also the chemical interactions decrease both the scent molecules lifespans and the distances the bees travel. how much honey was out there oh yeah what's going on around here where is everybody are they out celebrating no they're just home they don't know what to do they're laying out they're sleeping in i heard your uncle carl was on his way to san antonio with a cricket at least we got our honey back yeah but sometimes i think so what if the humans liked our honey who wouldn't it's the greatest thing in the world i was excited to be a part of making it this was my new desk this was my new job I wanted to do it really well, and now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. We have so much now, I thought their lives would be better. Mm. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. Oh. What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh, no. Oh, my. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? Mm. You know, I'm going to guess bees. Bees? Specifically me. I guess I didn't think that bees not needing to make honey would affect all these other things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. Well, that's our whole SAT test right there. So you take away the produce, that affects the entire animal kingdom, and then, of course... The human species? <clears throat> oh. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? And I know this is also partly my fault. <sighs> How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. <sighs> Listen, Barry. Sorry, but I gotta get going. Had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final Tournament of Roses parade in Pasadena. They've moved it up to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I, I just want to say I'm sorry. I, I never meant it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. 
tournament of roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses? Roses? Roses! Vanessa! Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster, and it's all my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet, and I wanted to help you with your flower shop. Instead, I've made it worse. I have another idea, and it's greater than all my previous great ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. Oh. All right, here's what I'm thinking. They have the roses, the roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees. Park. Pollen. Flowers. Repollination. Across the nation.